what's up guys welcome back worst f here and today is gonna be a phenomenal video guys if you watched yesterday's video we talked about the supernatural team that's just introduced into the game that looks phenomenal i can't wait for that team here but now we're gonna be talking about a whole new tag here marauders is now introduced into the game as well we got three new characters that we're gonna break down in this video also the fourth character drag we're gonna talk about as well two new reworked characters Sabretooth and mystique plus marauders seems to be a really insanely good alliance war defense team so we're going to talk about what heroes we're going to pair up with this marauders team here so i can't wait let's just go ahead and let's jump into the video guys and we're going to start off with number one hero here mr sinister all right so leading us off here is mr sinister guys as you can see his traits are villain global mutant support and marauders so that's the new tag that's introduced into the game i love it i think it's phenomenal here let's go ahead let's break down his basic ability here psionic beam attack primary target for 300 damage plus 50 damage per non-clone marauder ally now that is phenomenal guys 300 damage is actually damn high plus 50 per marauder ally that's gonna add up quick here so right off the bat here his basic seems to be incredible now this also gains an assist from a random cloned ally gained an assist from a random marauder ally this basic is basically incredible guys 300 damage plus a ton more damage from the allies he's gonna gain an assist from a cloned ally plus he's gonna gain an assist from a random marauder ally so that's three attacks in one this ability is going to do a ton of damage here so let's go ahead now let's take a look at his special ability gene therapy energy cost is five starts off at two clear heal block from two most injured allies gain offense up transfer all positive effects from an ally mystique to this character spread all positive effects from this character to all mutant or cloned allies heal all allies for 2000 health plus 20% of this character's max health, heal all clones for 1,500 health, plus 10% of this character's max health. What is going on here? Are you kidding me, dude? Is this an ability or is this an essay? This ability is insane. It does so many things, guys. Now, this is part of the reason why it's a five-turn cooldown and it starts off at two, which means you will be able to use this on your third turn, which kind of sucks because most abilities are either going off on their first or second turn here, but let's dissect this a little bit further here so clear heal block from two of the most injured allies so obviously heal block is not the worst ability you can have on yourself but it does prevent you from healing so this is going to clear it right there gain offense up and then transfer all positive effects from your mystique to mr sinister and then he's going to spread all those to all the other characters that are mutant or their clones that's insane right there guys so basically whatever mystique has everybody else is going to get here which is awesome and then he's going to heal for 2000 health plus 20 percent of this character's max health and then heal all of the clones now clones we're going to get into it right now with his ultimate clone energy cost is six starts off at three so this is another ability here that takes three turns for it to be ready here so it's going to take a while before he can actually get going here that's why i believe his basic was so powerful because he's going to be using his basic two times in a row but let's keep going on his uh, ultimate here summon a clone of the primary target this clone scales with mr sinister stats instead of the primary targets clone gains defense up for two turns on war defense generate two ability energy for all marauder and cloned allies that's insane right there on war defense this ability is phenomenal guys so two ability energy to everybody basically and the clones that he summons here and the clone that he summons is going to be a direct replica of the primary target here so if you have him on war defense you're not really going to have a choice on who you pick to choose as a clone but this is a phenomenal ability here, guys. And I think it's going to be a pain in the butt here to go against uh, Marauders in war defense here. All right. So now that we're at his passive, guys, it's going to make all of his other abilities insanely good. So as I said before, it's going to take two turn cooldown for him. Never mind that, guys. Let's take a look at his passive. On spawn, generate three ability energy for this character if not cloned. So obviously, he's going to be spawning. So he's not cloned. This is insane right here. On turn, heal 50% of max health. 5% of this, uh, 5% of max health per Marauder ally. Apply regen to the two most injured mutant allies. On Marauder's allies turn, if this character health is greater than 50%, redistribute 10% health from this character to that ally. Gain 50% focus, Marauder allies gain 50% focus, gain 20% max health, Marauder allies gain 20% max health. On war defense, Marauder allies gain 30% max health. 
Wow, this ability is in freaking sane, guys. This is basically him starting the battle off right away with full energy bar because three abilities here he's gonna be able to use his special his ultimate right off the bat here so it's gonna make him incredibly really difficult to go against here because he's gonna be spreading out his health on turn he's gonna heal 15 percent max health plus five percent health per marauder ally he's gonna apply regen to the two most injured mutants and then on marauder allies turns if this character's health is more than 50 percent which most of the time it will be because he's going to heal himself it's going to redistribute 10 percent health from mr sinister to that marauder allies turn Whew! and then all the bonuses that you get as well guys wow this passive ability is insane here so it just really makes this guy a really formidable war defense hero not only there guys but he's gonna be incredible all around here as well with with his ability to spread the healing with his ability to sustain uh we're gonna have to take a look at all the other marauders here but could this this is probably gonna be really useful in raids as well guys so mr sinister is looking phenomenal here i really cannot wait to unlock this guy and just see what he's all about here so with that said let's move on to the next character strife all right so i'm not gonna lie guys strife is actually one of the coolest characters that i've seen in the game i mean take a look at him he looks phenomenal i love what they got going on with him right now the design looks fantastic and i can't wait to put this guy on my team here so let's go ahead and let's begin his breakdown here by looking at his traits here so he's a villain global mutant protector and marauder here so fits perfectly with mr sinister so his basic ability psychic strike attack primary target for 300 percent damage if that target has taunt gain one taunt up to a maximum of three clear taunt from the target if mr sinister is an ally transfer all positive effects from the primary target to mr sinister so that basic is tremendous as well guys not only does it attack for 300 damage but if you're attacking a tank who's got taunt automatically here you're basically going to take their taunt onto yourself here and then if they have other abilities here it's going to transfer all those to mr sinister Woo! insane guys and if you've already forgotten mr sinister can spread his buffs to all of his allies as well so this is insane here i love this basic ability such a great combo with mr sinister here now let's move on to his special superiority energy cost is four starts off full gain one taunt up to a maximum of three gain three deflects plus barrier sell for 15 percent of this character's max health generate two ability energy for two random marauder allies <laughs> wow that's awesome so he's gonna taunt gain the deflects gain the barrier and then he's also gonna give two energies to two random marauder allies are you kidding me right now this is a this ability is in freaking sane guys as a special leader starting off the bat here wow this is so phenomenal i can't tell you guys how much i love this ability here i mean anytime that you can make your tank uh gain the flex and then barrier himself and then just be able to as a tank he's able to give off ability energy this is phenomenal guys this is a lot like um thanos giving off energy to his cosmic allies but instead of somebody dying you just automatically give it to them right away with his special here so i love this right off the bat now let's take a look at his ultimate nullifying blast so nullifying blast is a five turn cooldown starts off at three ability block the primary target and adjacent targets attack primary and adjacent targets for 420 percent damage so this ability is also insane guys ability block here on his second turn not only is he going to do 420 percent uh damage to basically three different people but he's gonna ability block your target whoever you attack is going to be nullified for a turn that can change the battle on its own right there guys so another great ability here from strife Woo! i'm loving this guy so much let's take a look at his passive now all right so his passive is grandeur on spawn fill 10 percent speed bar plus 10 percent speed bar per mutant villain ally which basically it's his whole team guys on turn if taunting gain one deflect up to a maximum of three when an allied mr sinister drops below 50 percent health gain one taunt up to a maximum of three gain barrier for 15 percent of this character's max health wow that's a lot to break down there as well but doesn't even stop there on war defense gain 50 percent resistance mutant allies also gain 50 percent resistance gain 50% focus villain allies gain 50% focus wow this is insane guys this passive is ridiculous are you kidding me right now 
10% speed bar plus 10% per mutant villain, which means that he's going to be going really, really, really fast. And uh, he's going to be applying that taunt right off the bat here so they can only get to him. Not only that, on turn, if he's taunting, he's going to gain the flex. And then if Mr. Sinister drops below 50%, he's going to gain a taunt, which means you can't, it's going to be almost impossible. It's going to be so hard to get the Mr. Sinister with Strife around. He's going to gain Barrier and then on War Defense. This is going to be really difficult to deal with, guys, on War Defense. I mean, the Marauders are going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. You got Mr. Sinister just causing havoc everywhere here, making clones out of everybody. And then you got this guy just taunting every other turn because uh, he doesn't want you to touch Mr. Sinister. This is crazy. I can't believe how impressive these abilities are but that only makes two of them guys so we got two marauders here who are going to be the other heroes that are going to fill out the team here so we're going to jump right into the other two characters that will be reworked here one of them is Sabretooth. so they changed a couple things about Sabretooth here first thing is they added the marauder trait on him as well so now he's going to be a marauder now let's take a look at his ultimate blood rush here so what they did with his ultimate is they just included mr sinister in the description as well so if mr sinister or magneto is an ally this attack cannot be countered and we already know he's going to just basically hit everybody and uh, apply bleed for two turns to all of them here so this ability is still pretty damn good and now it just works really great with mr sinister as well here so that's it for that one but they also reworked his passive feral healing here so let's take a look at what they did with this one here gain five percent damage per brotherhood or marauder ally if mr sinister is an ally gain 20 percent crit chance so that's actually phenomenal there an extra 20 percent crit chance is great on turn heal for 50 percent of this character's max health when this character drops below 50 percent health gain death proof gain 25% chance to assist on non-attacking abilities. Gain 25% chance to assist on non-attacking abilities per Marauder ally. Right off the bat there, guys, you can already tell that this is the Punisher of the Marauders here. Just like Punisher works with defenders, anytime somebody uses an ability that doesn't deal damage, he's going to attack. Sabretooth is the same type right now, guys, with his passive here. So if you max his ability out here, he's going to basically have a 100% chance to attack anytime your allies do not use an ability that's going to directly deal damage here. So as you can already tell, Mr. Sinister has two abilities, his special and his ultimate. They don't do any damage. So anytime he goes, basically, Sabretooth is going to attack for him. So you're going to get a Sabretooth attack anytime Mr. Sinister does an action here. And then also Strife has his special ability here that doesn't really cause damage either. So that's an uh, assist from Sabretooth as well. I love that rework there. That really makes a big difference in this team, guys. This team is looking mwah, pretty dang good. But it's not over yet. We still got Mystique. She also got reworked as well. So let's take a look at her now. All right. So Mystique also got the new trait Marauders. So she's going to work great with this team as well here. Let's take a look at her basic ability that got reworked. Mimic Strike. Attack primary target for 230% damage plus bonus attack one to two times for 190% damage. So they basically added a little bit more damage to this ability here. That's good because more damage is always good. Her special also got reworked here as well. They added if Mr. Sinister is an ally, flip two procs on each target attack. And then her passive also got reworked here as well. Subter Fudge. On Magneto's or Mr. Sinister's turn, Magneto and Mystique extend all buff durations by one. On War Defense, if Mr. Sinister is an ally, 100% chance to assist on allied non-attack action. I mean, come on, Fox Next. What are you trying to do here? This is insane. Not only is Sabretooth going to attack any time that your Marauder allies don't use an attack ability here, but she's also going to assist here 100% of the time anytime there's a non-attack action here. All right, that's insane, guys. But this one is only on war defense here. So like I said before, this team is basically meant for war defense, guys. So as soon as you get these heroes, you got to stick them in your war defense here. The only other problem now is who is going to be their fifth member. You don't have a fifth Marauder member here. But as you can already see, guys, on Magneto's turn or Mr. Sinister's turn, Magneto and Mystique extend all buffs durations by one so Magneto could actually be a dang good hero to stick here as well but I gotta do a lot of testing actually to try it out and see what works best because you might want to stick Magneto with the rest of the Brotherhood for offense here and uh, finding two replacements is gonna be tough oh my god I am so impressed by these abilities guys here but we're not even done yet guys we still got a really great character to talk about here and that's Hela all right so Hela comes in guys trying to save the Asgardians let's see if she's strong enough to do it here so she's a villain cosmic mystic controller Asgard Mystic Controller is very important here guys because of Loki here that's phenomenal tag to have right there she's gonna be going 
even faster because of Loki. I love that they gave that to her. So let's take a look at her basic ability here. Black Blade, attack primary target for 300% damage, plus flip one death proof on target. Attack the most injured enemy for 100% piercing, ignoring taunt. So as a basic attack, this is phenomenal here. Attack the primary target for 300, flip death proof on the target. And then it's also going to attack the most injured enemy for 100% piercing, ignoring taunt. Like we said before, guys, like Deadpool, like Elsa Bloodstone as well. These are the three heroes now that actually have this capability to ignore a taunt. So as a basic ability here, this is actually dang good here. Let's take a look at a special command on dead it's a three energy cost and it starts off full attack primary target for 350 percent damage apply disrupt for two turns phenomenal right there gain an assist from undead as guardian greg so i love this ability a ton of damage here plus the disrupt here let's take a look what she's gonna do with her ultimate death knives five turn cooldown it starts off full clear three death proofs clear three death proof from all enemies gain 5,000 extra Focus for this action. Attack all enemies for 350% damage. Spread four negative effects from the primary target to all secondary targets. This will not spread stun. Dang it, if that spread stun, this would have been a game changer. Of It's over as guardians are the best. But it's still really goddamn good. Apply two regents to all non-summon as guardian allies. Okay, what a sick ultimate here guys. So you're gonna be able to actually start right off the bat with this ability here So let's break this down here piece by piece clear three death rules from all enemies gain a ton of focus Attack all enemies for 350% damage spread four negative effects from the primary target to all secondary targets Now this ability is really key guys because you got to also picture how you're gonna be able to use her here And we just talked about using her with Loki So as you already know Loki is one of the fastest heroes in the game here. He's gonna go first right off the bat here he's going to apply a defense down on one enemy right off the bat here and then hella because she's a missing controller is also going to be insanely fast she's going to be able to go after him using this ability here and basically spreading defense down that is the main point of this ability here because you're probably going to use this right off the bat on his first turn and then also apply regen to all of your asgardian allies so right now we only have four asgardian allies but one is a summon, so it doesn't really count. So basically only three count. Now let's move to her passive ability, Goddess of Death. On spawn, summon an undead as guardian. On an undead as guardian's death, summon an undead as guardian, guys. <laughs> so basically what that means is this summon will never die. Anytime it dies, she will just keep respawning it, all right? So, so going for the undead as guardian is probably not your best move. You're probably going to want to leave that guy for last. Or at least until you can take out Hella. On turn, heal self for 5% of max health plus 5% of max health per non-summoned as guardian ally. Okay. Gain 50% max health. Gain 50% max health per as guardian ally. On war defense, on non-summoned as guardian allies death, summon an undead as guardian. Gain 25% damage as guardian allies. Gain 25% damage. Woo! Okay, let's just go ahead and break that down once again, guys, because uh, this ability is phenomenal here. So basically, she's just going to just keep spawning undead as guardian, guys. Anytime her summon dies in regular gameplay, she's going to keep reviving it over and over again. Anytime it's her turn, she's going to keep healing herself. And then if you put her on war defense here with as guardian, which you're pre pretty much going to have to with this ability here, anytime one of your allies dies, she's going to summon an undead as guardian in their place plus on war defense all as guardians are going to gain 25 percent damage and we already need thor is incredible when it comes to damage here he's a bit slow but his ultimate does a ton of damage and if he has the 25 percent damage increase here that's that's going to be deadly for a lot of different heroes here so whew, all in all hella looks pretty great guys i love what i'm seeing from her here i can't wait to add her into my as guardians here and the only thing is we need two more of these guys come on fox nice give us two more as guardians let's get a full team going on here but we're not done just yet guys let's take a look at the undead greg so his traits are villain cosmic mystic brawler minion summon as guardian basic attack heavy slash attack primary target for 260 percent piercing plus apply heal block not a bad ability there as just a straight up basic here his special dark sacrifice that's a three turn cooldown starts off with one attack primary target for 400 percent piercing plus two bleeds for two turns this attack cannot miss though it can be dodged attack self for 2000 percent piercing damage oh no greg what are you doing he's basically killing himself guys but wait 
there's a reason why he's doing that let's take a look at his passive on death heal most injured non-summoned as guardian ally for 180 percent of this character's max health so basically what he's coming in to do guys is attack a couple of times when he finally gets dark, dark sacrifice attack for a whopping amount apply bleed and then kill himself so he can heal one of your asgardian allies here and then hella is gonna just bring him back and then just repeat the process here so Huh, pretty cool minion here guys i kind of like what i'm seeing from greg here it's gonna be interesting to use guys and i want to see what kind of team i can make with these guys on blitz here because i'm gonna be having a lot of fun using them on blitz and then also using them on war defense as well here so all in all this is phenomenal guys Woo, i'm pooped i know there was a lot of things coming at you guys all at once here but the excitement is for real guys i'm crazy excited here we got the supernaturals We've got the Asgardians here. We've got the Marauders. So many things happening right now. I mean, I'm not sure it's going to be insanely difficult to keep up with all these heroes all at once here. But I've been storing my resources quite a bit here. So I'm excited for this, guys. Hope you guys are excited as well. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, be sure to leave a like, show your support, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Go Knicks!